Big Foot. This creature, that is sometimes seen in remote areas of the world, that has a variety of names, is variously described as being a huge hairy ape-like being, and is attributed to having psychic powers, and is one of the entities that has lived for a long time under the earth, in the vast caverns. It frequently comes to the surface to feed, and is seen by humans, of which, once again, it is a close relative. The directors of life, as we stated when talking about reptilians, originally created a number of beings, in their experiments with life forms. Some of these have died out for various reasons, and some have managed to survive. Bigfoot is one of the ancient species, that has managed to survive, by living under the surface of earth, and thus has avoided the inevitable conflict with man, that other species faced. So, this race has survived, virtually unchanged, for a long time, far longer than modern man has existed. Now, they are a shy and peaceful race, wary of man, whom they consider to be aggressive. They breed, as do all mammals, and care for their young with great love. Their lifespan is long, but, like all things, they die, and their bodies are taken into underground caverns, and disposed of with dignity. They have developed the gifts of the spirit, and can do a number of things, such as moving into the etheric realms, and thus, becoming invisible to man. They can also read the intentions of man, and thus, know if man intends them harm, or not. Contact with man has been less than peaceful, although, if man could get over his fear of them, there could be some interaction. It has been claimed, that they have been seen in UFOs, but, as far as we know, they do not normally engage in contact with any alien forces. So, Bigfoot is a somewhat human-like being, created by the directors of life, that contains a certain amount of human DNA in his makeup, and shares planet Earth with us humans, and several other races, that man knows little about. They are omnivores, and eat a variety of nuts, berries, fruits, and also animals, when they can catch them. They do not cook their food, but consume it raw. They generally communicate telepathically, but some of them have learned a few words of languages, and try to speak aloud. Their ability to make speech sounds is limited, both by their morphology, and by their ability to comprehend. They are not very intelligent, in our meaning of the word, but can survive easily, both on the surface of earth, and in its caverns. They have been known to abduct children, from time to time. The reasons are the same as humans abduct children. Sometimes these children are returned unharmed, and others are never seen again. If a child expired from exposure, it is possible that they would consume the body. It is interesting, that they often return the clothing of the infant, neatly folded, in an obvious place for searchers to find, indicating a degree of understanding of the anxiety of the human searching. It may be that human children, and adults, are kidnapped to be kept as pets, rather as we would sometimes do with an animal, that we might capture. 